Hi, I'm Sophie Ndaba and you are watching Joburg Today. Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Tlapo bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. The wonderful world of Disney on Ice is back on South African shores for both the young and the old and will run in Johannesburg for two weeks before moving down onto Durban and finishing off in Cape Town. We caught up with Stuart MacDonald, performance director and cast to find out more. The wonderful thing about Disney on Ice is that we can bring this show to any part of the world, whereas not everyone can access one of the Disney parks. So everyone has the opportunity in their hometown to see all their favorite Disney characters. And this year's um, production is absolutely spectacular. We have The Lion King, which is such a fantastic start to the production. We also have, we're bringing Finding Dory to South Africa for the very first time, um, which is great, very colorful, vibrant, um, so the kids are really going to enjoy that and um, everyone can see uh, Frozen which really goes down well all over the world. It's a very big production, we have 42 performers, we have about 18 people behind the scenes and on top of that we have uh, a staff including myself touring with the production so that everyone sees the best quality of production in every city that we tour in. It's a lot of practice, you know, we, we have a, a rehearsal period and some of them takes like two weeks. So if you have new skaters that are used to the competition attire and, the, you know, the normal uh, sports attire skating wise, um, they get that two week period where we teach them and both of us are line captains. So she's in charge of the female, I'm in charge of the male cast. Um, so we have to teach them how to, you know, skate with it and especially it's not just the, the costumes that are a, a challenging issue sometimes, it's the lights and the, you know, even the audience, some members, we get a lot of audience that are screaming and are loud and you know, we love it and it's, it's, it's getting used to. It's just something to. to get used to. We've all grown up with Disney in some sort of way, whether you're young or old. Um, so you all have your childhood heroes. So I actually get to skate with my childhood heroes out there. Um, the music we all grew up with, you get, we get to listen to it every day. We get to see the audience reaction when they see their childhood heroes. And that's actually the most satisfying of it all, is bringing world, the world, Disney World to South Africa. Because um, not, not a lot of people get to go there. You know, it's far and it's expensive. And, but now they're here on the ice, ready to see this great audience here in jo Johannesburg. So. No, it's it's everything about it. And of course, we're both from South Africa, so come and come and support the local talent. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Louis Mkize, and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter, at JoburgToday. School is out, and what better way to get these winter holidays started by checking out Bounce, an international indoor trampoline park where the wall becomes the floor, a slam dunk is within your grasp, and the rules of gravity no longer apply. <laughs> We are here at Bounce Inc. and as you can see, the kids are having fun. Let's go and bounce. Well, it's an absolutely unique concept. Uh, first of its kind in, in Africa, never mind South Africa. Totally unique concept. Uh, basically what we've done is we've converted 3,000 square meters of, of space, basically the size of half a rugby field or soccer field. We filled it with almost 100 interconnected trampolines, made it inclusive for everybody. Whether you're three years old or eight years old, you can come here and have the absolute time of your life. I mean, we're talking about inclusive family entertainment. Whether you're an athlete, not an athlete. All of us at some point in our lives want to jump up into the air, but usually extreme sports are only really accessible to a very small percentage uh, of the population. And what Bounce does, it brings extreme sports to everybody. We, we hire about 80 young kids that get to work in this fantastic venue, and it's just absolutely fantastic, a great alternative entertainment for everybody, for our great country. <laughs> Whoa! Bouncing can be a form of exercise which is not restricted for anyone and I'm having so much fun, I'm going back in again! Woo! I like this one because I'm 
you can do lots of backflips on it and, um, and because it's really fun. I like that section at the last one because you, you run and you do a backflip and you land on that bean bag, it's so cool. My favourite side is this basketball area because it's just a lot of fun to slam dunk and stuff. The children are exhausted afterwards. There's nothing left of them. They are exhausted, so they, we can take them home and they're quiet and they, they're just happy. Besides giving us a little bit of a break, we get to see them enjoy themselves, have an awesome time, and I think it's the best exercise for any child. In fact, I know some grown-ups as well. For basketball players like some of us, this is a great opportunity to practice our hoops. I'm Pomashiko for Joburg Today. Hi, I'm in Pop Pops Medikwani, and you're watching Joburg Today. And that's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumitapo, and the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye.